Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore agricola. I am playing on uh, EGIK WM France Deck G456 game with Trimbar, Mercator, and Def underscore K. So, oh wow, Acquirer is here. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to first pick Acquirer most likely. There is Patron, Grocer, and Hill Farmer. Uh, Acquirer, Hill Farmer is a pretty solid combo because the Hill Farmer, of course, helps you get the food that you need to keep acquiring stuff. Uh, there is, I could go Grocer, Hill Farmer here. It's definitely Acquirer or Grocer. It's one of those two. So, okay, Casino Manager, Patron both go. And then the opposite card goes. I think Hill Farmer wheels most of the time from this pack. So do I want Hill Farmer Grocer or do I want Hill Farmer Acquirer? That's what I have to think about. Patron could come back. Hmm. I don't expect Patron will come back. I think I said BRB, but um, I think I'm taking acquirer over grocer. I think I'm taking acquirer over grocer here. Am I? So let's say I hill farmer round one. I can plow, I can hill farmer plow, something plow, something plow, grocer sow. And I could buy almost everything from the grocer and have grain, vegetable, vegetable sown with hill farmer in play and all the grocer stuff. And it doesn't require, so the thing about, the problem with the choir is it requires the fireplace. All right, I'm on grocer here. All right, I'm on grocer here. What? What? I mean, Acquirer, I feel like Acquirer has a higher ceiling with cards like Gluten-Free Baker, Bean Hole. I think Acquirer, Acquirer has, uh, has some higher, uh, higher ceiling. Yeah, I could have had Educator plus Patron. Yep. Um... I mean, I just have to take Educator here, I think. Uh, yeah, I think there's just no way I can not play Educator here. Um, This might be a sneaky 7th pick Pawnbroker game with Educator. I might need the food from Pawnbroker. Uh, I think I take Old Hiker here. Master Tanner is interesting because of the... If Hill Farmer comes back... I really want Hill Farmer to come back, obviously. If Hill Farmer comes back, then Master Tanner... Plus, keep like I can grow and keep Hill, Farm, Har, Hill Farmer lo online longer. But I think I this just has to be Old Hiker. All right, Magician is decent here. Yeah. Kind of wish I had Fisherman, but Magician is, is totally fine here. I need, uh, I need Hill Farmer back. I really need Hill Farmer back. So the card that comes back is Casino Manager. I wonder if there's a world where it's correct to take card player here. 
I'm looking at Grocer and Old Hiker both as being ways to activate card player. I mean, Casino Manager, four wood occupations are solid. There are some miners that would be really good with card player here. Can't pass Livestock Keeper, I don't think, with Early Riser and Acquirer. Casino Worse with Turkey Breeder in the game. Pass Livestock Keeper to whoever has Acquirer, I think it's GG. Um, I mean, not necessarily. They would have to open some cattle, crazy cattle payoff. I, I would not say, I would not say that it's GG. I think I can, I think I can take the best card for myself here, which I think might be card player. I think it's going to be tough for me to get the casino manager points. I think card player could actually be very good with this grocer old hiker. I'm not um I'm not too surprised Hill Farmer didn't come back. Def Def in particular I would say is a player that values Hill Farmer really highly. What I'd be more afraid of is Turnbar getting acquirer third. Turnbar getting acquirer third could be quite tough for me. Also, I guess the other thing to talk about is, so Mercator agonized over his first pick, right? Mercator agonized over his first pick. What does that tell us? Take a cater here. Um, why did he first pick over Educator? Did he first pick... Um, Mushroom Collector is fine here. Did he first pick something like um, uh, Field Watchman, and then he might have taken Hill Farmer? Um, yeah, so passing Heavy Plow to Acquirer Turkey Breeder is pretty brutal. The problem is, this Heavy Plow is just really not great for me, and there are good cards like House Goat here. Really good cards like House Goat. So, yeah, it, it's really tough to pass the heavy plow here, but I think I'm going to take House Goat. There's not a lot you could first pick over uh, Educator, I agree. Animal breeder if you're getting a very specific wheel payoff The thing is I haven't passed like okay. There was basin maker, but aside from basin maker. I haven't passed any like Crazy payoff cards that are kind of niche that that'd be the thing I'd be looking for What's the two card combo? That's like a crazy payoff when you get the two together. I could get the first cooking hearth with old hiker and the simple fireplace, but I don't like that because of the, um, I know the acquirer is going to push for the first fireplace really hard, right? Most likely. Um, storage shed plus uh, card player seems great. So I think that's what I'm going for here. Ooh, Corral. It's also Slapdash Reno. Man, Corral. Um, there's Overgrown Pond, which goes with a Cater. 
Yeah, I, I don't think I can take Corral, unfortunately. Slapdash Reno could be cute. There may be a Stonehouse line with card player getting enough stone. But I think I'm just taking Overgrown Pond here. Two wood and four food. Seems alright. Storage shed in a casino. It's not in your supply. That's the important thing. Well, I don't need writing desk. I don't think I'm taking Om's basket here. So, amusement park? Or do I want baking field? So, if I think I'm going to build an oven to bake my magician grain, then baking field is solid. But amusement park, I think th there's a combo with a cater here. And it's got a point on it. I think this is good enough. Seems unlikely that I play Grain Shrine. So I'll grab the Borrowed Plow here. Man, why is an unknown able to all chat? That's annoying. Yeah, Tide Mill needs a uh, grain field prereq, right? The whistle seems tough because it need, means I need two uh, fields with uh, or two stables if I'm going to play storage shed. So doe, paved road, private market, any of those looks okay. Uh, doe could be some food, which could be fine. Private market is a payoff for having a crazy amount of food with card player. So can I make a crazy amount of food with card player? Two food for two building resources, whatever's on top of card player. Yeah, this screams I can do a million things or I can do not very much. If this goes off the way that it can, like if I'm able to feed reason my educator reasonably, then this this hand can really go off. This hand can like like five room stone house, get the casino manager points, have three or four fields, have a good crop score, have a decent animal score. Like this hand can really go off. Build the well. This hand can really go off. I don't hate Corral here, but I really think I'm on the baking strat. And if I'm on a baking strat, then I don't want to be holding animals in my fields. I'm actually quite surprised to see Corral come back here. I would have thought the Acquirer would have gone for the Corral, but maybe not with Hill Farmer. All right, I'm in the two seat, so that's quite good. Two seats, great here. Mercator plays self-employee. Ooh, 
Mercado have a grotto or something to get to? Quarry? Don't imagine I would have got bonus with Quarry in the game. Synergizer round one. Um... So that's where the hill farmer went, most likely, right? Do I want reedstone food here? I think reedstone food coming with the food is nice. I think there's a reasonable chance I start player house goad into educator round two. All fed by mushrooms? Maybe. Uh, Death's got circus manager, okay. So, is Def playing Acquirer? Do you play Acquirer with Circus Manager there? Does, does Def have a two-time Circus Casino combo? Two times, like, coming together? He passed Magician. He did pass Magician. Turambar has Acquirer. He took two clay. Yep, yeah, seems likely. Honestly, I like Synergizer, but there's a lot of ways that I think Synergizer can go wrong. Uh, oh, I have the offset issue. I'm going to play House Goat here. There's a chance I get 6 wood. If Def plays an Auk in turn bar, I don't know what turn bar would do, but <laughs> I'm not getting 6 wood. But maybe that would be fun. Okay, that's good. Where's my farm? That's good. That's good. All right. That load board position is so nice. I have to comment about how nice that is again. It is very nice. Daniel, thank you. Make sure make sure you pass on my appreciation, Norton Watch. So I want Mercator to play Hill Farmer here. I respond with um, Mushroom Collector. Nope. Okay. Um, I can take two Reed then. Or do I just play Auk myself? Maybe I just play Auk myself. Uh, two Reed is fine. I can take two Reed. So, Mercator doesn't have Hill Farmer then? I I have to imagine Hill Farmer would have came out here if he had it. So, Turnbar is on Acquirer plus Hill Farmer? No, but they were both in the same pack. So, that can't be it. Death's Turkey Breeder. Yeah, Turnbar, Turnbar's Acquirer is getting wrecked here. Turnbar's Acquirer is really getting wrecked. Two draft pick rules remaining. Basin Maker. Is that right, Rilo Kren? I don't know. I feel like Gray didn't make up draft. I think Gray just requested Basin Maker as a pick. And I think that was a while ago. Turn bar plays Acquirer. Yeah, there it is.
Whoops. What? How do you see that? Oh, cool. How, how is there a way to see food food uh, redemptions? Is that what you guys are looking at? Acquire gets wrecked by round four major minor here. Feel like I feel like that was I satisfied that I played a basin maker. Did I not play a Basin Maker um, when I had a bunch of rooms? I had a bunch of empty rooms with Animal Tamer's Apprentice. Mercator plays Hill Farmer, so he does have Hill Farmer. Okay. So I'm going to play Card Player here. Look at mod screen under remaining redemptions. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Hmm, from Livestock Keeper, yes. Whoops. Using old tiger care just to um, morning uh, mushroom here, which I'm totally fine with. So magician's dead, but the rest of my cards should be playable. And I expect Turambar is taking the sheep here, right? With start player simple fireplace. Nope, he's going to upgrade his Cooking Hearth first move. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It only gets him one more food out of his cattle. I'm a bit surprised he doesn't take the sheep. I get, is he calculating that Def needs to take two reed here, maybe? How many 60-point farms this game? I bet two. Uh, sounds like an excellent prediction. Uh, let's say two. And you guys have two minutes. No, one minute, because you can't see when family growth flips. So you have to put it in before the end of stage one. The sheep are equivalent to four food without the hearth. Oh, good point. Yeah, they're, uh, yeah, you're right, Gray, that they're not worth very much on their own. Thank you.
Uh, oh, I don't really want to take wood this round. Just realized taking wood is bad here. Um, maybe I take it anyways. I probably take it anyways. Because I don't... I guess I could fish. Yeah, I could fish. Okay, yeah, fish lets me do stuff like play a cater this round. Play a cater and then overgrown pond. I'm pretty sure that was in response to the game where I had the really big house with Animal Tamer's Apprentice. One wood and one food. Start with the item of my choice. So I get to choose to try to how to line up the food or the wood, which is good. And Turnbar did get the sheep back. I don't need to start player here. I could start player. I don't need to. Could just read stone food or take clay. Yeah, build is not threatened at all. So just take read stone food, I guess. Feed four and get a food from goat. I remember that game, but I don't remember request. Well, it looks like Maruska made it for you. It looks like you didn't actually make it. It looks like Maruska spent his food for you. Def's got Pig Breeder! Fun! So I'm going to play a Cater here. I don't think I have the food for Grocer yet. I kind of want to hold on to Grocer. Family growth flip. <laughs> wow, family growth flipped here. <laughs> well, that is incredible for me. Family growth thing, flipping here is so good for me. <laughs> oh, man. That is so good. All right. Um, just one stable for now or multiple stables? Probably one stable for now. It's likely I go back to the build room space. Yeah, I feel like the under was the value bet gray. Because of late family growth, just the odds that multiple players score 60 are not that high. But uh, with family growth in five, I think, yeah, I think you're, you're done. I think you're done. I think those channel points are being donated to uh, Rilo Kren. I don't have a long-term feeding plan. Yeah, the well. I play um, storage shed here. I set up um, overgrown pond in the well for a couple things. You're right that my long-term feeding is not great, but it's good enough. With uh, Growing here gives me the time to do whatever it is that I want to do. How many channel points for me to leave growth fallow here? <laughs> it's cute. It's it's cute gray, but I enjoy my actions. And obviously it would lower everyone's score, <laughs> including my own.
So stones on top right now, or uh, yeah, stones on top, reeds on the bottom. Hmm. Or wood then, and mushroom collect it. And then maybe start player overgrown pond. And then build the well. Yep, I like that line. I like that line, Norton Watch. Uh, Death's going to start player. Makes sense. Yep. It let's him grow. It's okay. The three wood and two food was a very good action. I'm, I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. Hmm, six clay. I probably want major here. I kind of like blocking death from building a hearth here. So I think I'm going to block his major action and play overgrown pond here. Wait, who put out one food? Oh, death took... Oh, he took that spot. Okay, that's fine. I normally like that spot, but it's okay. Uh, plus SS. Two food on each. Oh, a cater. Thank you. I forgot about a cater. Thank you. Start with food. Um, no, because I want the wood to go to... I want to get double wood. Card player triggers off the wood coming in. Yeah. I think if it's all start of the round, I could potentially choose my order. If it's all just start of the round stuff, I could potentially choose my order. But I think I'll just... I think this works. I think this is fine. Because card player moves at the end of the round. Yes. Yeah. So I get wood wood. Turnbar plays Sunday Worker, so he's going to double Sheep, I would imagine. Rum Distillery for Mercator, nice, very nice. So I'll take three wood and two food, which is four wood and two food. So, I think, I'm wondering if I should, um, wondering if I should try to reno here. I'm wondering if I should reno well, because reno well would set up kind of nicely for building a clay room, and then knowing that Sunday, uh, that uh, casino manager is in the game, that's kind of appealing.
I mean, Def is going to want a Reno Hearth, right? So if I want a Cooking Hearth, I need to prioritize it very highly. Do I want a Cooking Hearth? Oh, wait. He Sundayed Reedstone food. Oh, that's kind of crazy. I better build the well now, then. So the only question is Reno or not. And the answer is... Reno because I want to take clay next round and taking clay obviously helps me build the clay room and I can't beat Maruska to or I can't beat Def to growth in nine uh, anyways so Take two read here. It's my read for my room plus drain pond. It might be better. Like, so two read is kind of a crappy action when I can get two read out of... You know what? That's a that's a good point, actually. Maybe I should just try to be getting re two read out of my grocer. I don't need it for a couple of rounds anyways. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Just take wood again. Continue to mushroom collecting wood. Or I could plow here. Um, continuing to take wood seems okay. And I, I'm at the point now where I'm starting to get enough food that I can actually buy grocery stuff. Plus food for goat, thank you. Thank you, I did forget about goat. Thanks, Thorn and Watch. What resource did I collect from Overgrown Pond? Uh, Overgrown Pond... I'm not sure I understand. Overgrown Pond... Take the three stone here. Um, oh, Storage Shed. I took stone from uh, from Overgrown Pond. From Storage Shed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stored shed when I played Overgrown Pond. Yeah, I got two stone. Stone plus stone is what I got in particular. Def Reno's Cooking Hearth, of course. Turnbar's got Grump. Where's Montu? You should summon Montu. Uh, I think I just build the pottery here. I'm hoping to use Grocer to buy my reed. I don't really want to take reed, so I think I just play pottery here. I should drop Grocer. Oh, in response to Grump. Yes. Oh, sorry. I want to play an Auk. Yes, thank you.
And then Def played Basin and Maker. Kim bought a 32 point Basin Maker the other day. That's a lot. Chad is helping me get to 60. <laughs> Gray might uh, start giving some anti advice in that case. Fencing 13 to drop amusement park. Hmm. I think, well, I'm going to first move build. What I do after that, I'm not sure. Certainly going to first move build. Because Turin Bar is ready to build. So I got to put out the grocer stuff. I better look at it because I always forget. I get the order out of. So it's veg, reed, clay, stone, veg, stone, G, R. There's two stone, right? No. That's, that's supposed to be a wood. Veg, reed, clay, wood, veg, stone, grain, reed. Yes. Okay. So I'm buying the top thing, which is a reed. So I get plus reed. Should I build all my stables now? Build my three stables? I could do that as well. Casino Manager hasn't come down yet. Mm. Yeah, Music Park real Music Park's pretty good here, so I think I won't build any stables. <clears throat> I think I need the pasture. The pastures do help a ton for for food for sure. The pastures definitely help a ton for food. Def plays Archangel. Okay. So Grain has two read on it right now. And the BMW is available. Although I assumed Turnbar was going after it. Although he does have popcorn. So it is possible that I could do like Grain read read and then build the BMW. That's a thing. Yeah, and you know what? Turnbar is going to sow two grain in a vegetable last action, right? <clears throat> so also start player this round is pretty good. Because there's a chance I get a really good um, wood action. Fence and growth amusement park. That's a lot of food tempo. I like fencing this round. I I, li I like fencing here. I think I'm going to fence here. The question is, what else am I doing? I do really like fencing here. I'm thinking, like, the grain reed reed is pretty good. Aren't I locked into growth? Nope, because Def is going to grow. Def grew. Def grew with uh, Master Tanner. Let's see what Mercator and Def do. Def might take Green Reed here. He did play Archangel, so presumably he wants the action.
And if I do play start player here, I'd play Drain Pond over... I guess I could play Drain Pond next round. That's true. I can play it on Family Growth in 10. Yeah, so I can Amusement Park here. Yeah, especially if Mercator doesn't take the 3 wood and I'm giving myself the chance at 5 wood, 2 food. Mercator plays... Reedstone food? Kind of surprising. So amusement park is four for three pastures. Yeah. And I get plus... Uh, the downside is I get plus read read here, which I don't really need. So... I mean, I could still build the BMW. All right, plus read, read, and think about the BMW. Six food at the start of the round is not too bad. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to continue mushroom collecting. Ooh, is the wood here important? Maybe the wood's not important here. Maybe the two boar are a lot better, or the three sheep, and then the BMW, and then family growth. Hmm... Yeah, maybe the sheep are important. Yeah. And then I play Drained Pond on Family Growth, last action. Remove the wood. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Keeping me on the straight and narrow, that's good. I want to be on the straight and narrow. That's where I want to be. Don't think... Turn bar is going after this, but I'm going to build it anyways. The two boar was better. Hmm. The only person who wants the two boar is Mercator. And Mercator's got this bargaining harvester that's not really doing anything because he can't hold the animal inside his pasture right now. So I, I guess I think that I guess I think that Mercator is not that interested in these two boar. And that I it's possible I even get them next round. Maybe Def takes them for food, but I don't think Mercator's all that interested in these boar. He has no way to eat them, and he gets an animal of his choice when he does a so action. So I, I I don't think Mercator's that interested in the boar. I think there's a chance I get three boar next round. I'll buy two goods here as well.
I assume card player works with Grocer. Is there an argument against? Turnbar's just saying he's never seen the interaction. Yeah, card player went unplayed for many years. I feel like Gray and I have been the the apostles. What's the uh, what's the uh, the the people who the people who are spreading the word about card player evangelists? Ambassadors, heralds, yeah. So Turambar might first move take the three boar. But I mean, it's just a nine food action for him. That's all they are. They're not anything more. Because he can't hold them. And yeah, like, like Mercator... Mercator's gonna get an animal of his choice. So, yeah... I got the three boar here. Boom! What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Takes too much planning and foresight. I think it actually takes less... I think the downside of card player is overblown, Norden Watch. I think that, like, okay, it can be really bad. It can be the rounds where the good resources that you want to take, it's always on the bottom. But you don't play card player in that situation. You play card player when you have storage shed, you grocer, um, those two in particular, <laughs> private market, right? You don't, you don't just play those, you don't play it in a vacuum. You play it, you're playing it when it's good for you and when you anticipate it will be good for you. So probably plow here with my next move. Plow something read. Make sure I buy from grocer to get the extra wood. I will. Thank you very much, Norton Watch. The end game feeding is a little sketchy. Oh, I don't think so. I think I can get by with a two clay fireplace and eating my guilds. Yeah, two clay fireplace is not hard for me to get when I can buy two clay for very little food. I'm not worried about it, Norton Watch. I think the, the building a fireplace is totally fine. And I will try to eat with my guilds all the rest of the way as well, right? So you have to remember that's 15 food there. So 15 food plus 8, 23 plus 6. I've got 29 food for 3 remaining harvests. It seems okay. Obviously, I want to spend 5 of that buying these 5 things. Ooh, Mercator must have taken profit quite highly. Huh. That's a... Yeah, Mercator must have taken profit quite highly because I did not see it. Take the three read here.
Oh, Mercator's been putting ram instead of rum, which has confused me. I thought Mercator had rum. Reno fireplace now. Mm, no. No, I don't want to buy the clay on top until it's getting me an extra clay. He does have rum, but he's been saying ram. Mercator's been typing ram in chat. Not rum. Hmm. Not too much here for me. Could Reno? I could Reno borrowed plow here. Uh, the upshot would be that I get the two wood here. Oh, well, okay. So I have to buy two wood. So let's keep that in mind. So I'm definitely doing this. Buy, buy plus wood. So, yeah, I don't really want to play private market because that cost me the clay. But, I mean, I could private market and get a wood and get a clay and get the clay back and eat it. If I'm not too worried about losing slight efficiency from the, the storage shed. Could also build the joinery, I suppose. But I have no wood here, so there's a bit of a waste. I'm gonna think here. Uh, maybe just grab a grain. Grain is an easy move. Grain is a very easy move here. Yeah. Get my second grain so I can sow two grain, two vegetable. I don't think I need to worry about that too much. So eat a clay, a reed, and three food, and get a food from goat. Oh, I forgot about goat. Yeah, building stables seems good. So maybe I was supposed to have gotten wood somehow that round. I mean, I can build, I can spend another two wood for a pasture. I can do that. Yeah, I could do that. Just spend two wood. I was thinking about stable, but I could just spend another two wood for a pasture. No one has played casino. You're right. No one has played casino. And Def would rather dump his wood into the basin maker, right? And turn bar fence 12 small. Now, Mercator does have stable hand and one remaining awk, but casino manager was in my opening pile. So Mercator is the one player that can't have it. And Mercator's looking like the most likely to be able to get it, right? With stable hand. What flipped? Plow so. Okay.
Do I want to start player here? Sure, let's get family growth without room. And shed plus CC. Sure. Yeah, building stables is not so important if I build the fireplace with Reno here. So maybe that's what I do. I could build grow here. I could. I could. Uh, I think I won't. Minimalist was in the draft. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Should I be afraid of Mercator's Minimalist? Mercator grad plays graduate. So, yeah. So if I did try to build grow, Mercator grows in front of me anyways. So not a good proposition here. I borrowed plow this round. I get a huge plow so next round. I mean, I think I'm okay with doing the plow so in parts, Norton Watch. I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm just okay with doing the plow so in parts. Like, I think there's a chance that I get start player. I think I, there's a chance I will start player in 13. If I do, I pl borrowed plow 100%, right? And if I don't. Like, the thing is, I also don't want to give Def time to play Borrowed Plow himself. So that's why I kind of want to hold on to it. Fireplace is not contested at all. Uh, but what else would I do? I'm not sure what else I would do. Let's see what Death's up to. Maybe three clay. One point. Maybe two points. Take clay plus clay. Spend my two food on the board to buy reed, reed, veg. I didn't use private market last round. That's okay. I don't have to use private market. Maybe this round I will, but I have enough clay that I don't need to. Unless I'm going to build a clay oven or something. Yeah, def heavy plow. Okay. That's fine. Mm, turn bar trying to get casino out with this wood grab. Maybe. Oh, I get plow so back here. 
I don't think Mercator is taking... Well, I guess he could take Plow So, because sewing onto his baking field is okay. Yeah, Mercator might take so Plow So here. Nope. Wow. Uh, yeah. So one of each. Last two moves, three wood, two stables, maybe? And buy a sh eat a sheep to buy to read. Turn bar. This is probably Reno Slapdash Farmer's Straw Hat. Yep. Barb Plow gets me to read as well. Um, it does. I kind of want to hold Barb Plow for the last round, but I guess if I play Barb Plow this round, there is a, there is a, there is um, a way for me to get so. The thing is, Mercator might really want to sow action. And yeah, Mercator might really want to sow action. So I don't know. I'm not totally sure about that. I'll take two wood here. I can get the wood for Barred Plow from Storage Shed, because Storage Shed provides the resource before you play the improvement. So I could get the wood, the one wood from Storage from uh, Barred Plow, from playing from Storage Shed. I mean, Yeah, Play, playing Bard Plow here makes first action so bake a, a big value move, for sure. Um, the question is, am I going to get so big? I don't know that I, I'm necessarily going to get it. Passing Death Bard Plow is no problem at this point, because we know he's going to heavy plow for three fields. So giving him another two field plow is not a big deal, it's just two points only. And the plow and field space is better for him, even. And nobody really wants plow and field. So he's just going to get probably plow so, then plow and field for three fields each time. Sunflower farm for Mercator. Yeah, so Sunflower. So Mercator absolutely wants a so action. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll first move so next round. With Sunflower farm, there's there's just no way he doesn't. So that means I'm not getting a sow action at the end. So then I could hold on to borrowed plow. But if I play it here, maybe I get two cattle. I guess that's what I do. I play it here and hope for two cattle. And let's get plus read read. And pay a wood. And I won't private market anything. I don't need... I guess I could private market a wood. 
sure. Eat a sheep to private market a wood. Uh, private reed reed, actually. Not wood. Let's buy reed reed here. Because then I can eat reed reed the rest of the way. I can do clay, reed, three food, goat. Clay, reed, three food, goat. Read these guys. Harvest that. I'm at 57 without my field. <laughs> to read that way, I have five read at the end of the game. Yeah, assuming that I want to 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 eat both times. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Northern Watch. So Turnbar could be playing Casino Manager, but only if he fences three, right? If he doesn't fence three, then he's not close. Because Mercator could fence six here. Def has to take three wood. Well, Def has the Cops wood coming in, so I'm not sure that Def has to take three wood. He's got the Cops wood, don't forget, on his farm. Ooh, Sunday family growth for Turnbar is good. Giving up on the grunt points. Hmm. Need 2H to take the cattle here. Need to pay a food for that field. Thank you. I, I, I did forget about that. Thank you. The other thing I could do is I could buy two stone here and build the joinery. That would be more points than the one stable. I can still sow. Yep. That's true. That's a good point. How did Mercator sow? Did he just sow in, the, in round 14? Yeah, I guess sow is a two-point move for him here. So he did first move fence. That was a safe play. Yeah. I could I could could have sewn. Sewing was a three point move versus the two cattle, which was probably only two points. The cattle was probably only two points. Yeah, I can still sew if it comes back. Turnbar is going to block, so... Okay. That's probably just... Uh, it closes the gap between him and I. I have to imagine.
Uh, vegetable, and then what? Not much for me to do after taking a veg. Yeah, O is one point, V is one point, yep. Def Reno Paved Road. Turnbar, Lady of the Manor. Ooh, Lady of the Manor makes it closer. Definitely, that definitely makes it closer. Don't think it's close. In. I don't think it's anywhere near close enough. I think I've got a five point lead on Turnbar, I would guess. Oh, only 53 for turn bar. Hey, Gray wins his points. Gray keeps his points. I'm going to be the only 60-point player. Actually, I should wait to see what Def's final score is. But I would guess Def is mid-50s at the highest. I don't think Def touched 60. Hard to beat my hand. My hand is absurd. Yeah, death is 55. My hand is absurd. The mushroom, the mushroom collector card player was MVP. I'm going to shout out mushroom collector card player as being the MVP that let me still progress my farm while getting food for the educator. So I'm going to shout out those two cards. Do I have any points with this move? I don't think so. Because I'm eating a sheep. I'm eating a sheep, a clay reed. A sheep, clay reed, goat to food. Yeah, so I, have, I think I have no points with this move. Just take start player, I guess. Pretty great game. I had a busted hand for sure. Um, yeah, crazy game. Thanks for playing turn bar. It was a crazy game for sure. Mercator 56 and Mercator managed second. So 52, or sorry, 53, 56, 65, 55. GG. Hey, Gray, your points. Don't forget your points. Oh, I wonder if uh, Mercator remembered Grump. I'll ask Mark if he gave himself Grump. Oh, good point. Baking field in play. Oh, no! We missed that. Good, good catch, Gray. You are absolutely right. But we all missed it, so. You passed um, Rum Distillery and Sunflower Farm to the Synergizer, yeah. Yeah, and he first picked... Um, he, fr he first picked, uh, no, Mercator first picked Synergizer. He passed me Educator to take Synergizer. Yeah, um, card player. Getting Storage Shed was excellent for the card player. And then just the fact that I got the wood moves that I needed was also really important. 
like getting as much wood as I did in the early game that I could afford to dump um that I could afford to dump action like the fact that I could get food and push myself towards shed plus room at the same time was was crazy so very very strong hand for me very very strong hand so a uh, good game good day of games went three for three which is quite nice card player is simply good uh i have to say it was a very i uh giving giving myself credit for that pick i'm definitely giving myself credit for that pick Gray, enjoy your channel points. Rilo Kren, you're going to have to watch some more, clearly. Yeah, the people are too scared of the downside. I agree. The, the downside does not come up as often as you think. And you don't play the card in situations where it's not good for you, right? Um, yeah. Very, very, very strong hand for me. So, guys, I'm going to call it there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, 25k go to Maruska as well. So Maruska and Gray taking a cut of Rilo Kren's, uh, channel points. So clearly Rilo Kren needs to watch some more of this stream. Obviously does not watch enough. Um, yeah, crazy game. Let's look at let's just look at the stats on Mercator's first pick. I'm I'm interested to know what the stats are there. Three six eight five nine eight. I'm interested to know. I don't know if, what decision I would make. I probably would not make that decision. I probably would have taken Educator. Yeah. So he first picks Synergizer here. So is there something coming back that he really wants? Bargaining Harvester. I mean, Bargaining Harvester Synergizer is solid. Very solid. And you're very likely to get Bargaining Harvester back. Because you know Educator Turkey Breeder gets taken. And then Grump or... Yeah, if it doesn't come back though, I think it's hard to justify picking it. Me personally, I probably would take Educator. I'd probably just take Educator anyways. And uh, and yeah, want to wheel uh, a Cater and then do pretty much exactly what I did. And they took profit here over old hiker. I don't imagine that's correct. Yeah, I, I have a hard time imagining that's correct. Card player. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. Uh don't think my acquirer nothing else in particular has any shot with late major early grow here. Yeah, turnbar, you just got screwed by major round four. You just got totally wrecked by major round four. Absolutely. You like Synergizer over Educator, Gray? Interesting. I guess I've had some bad experiences with Synergizer. Um, sometimes you play against Evening Prayer. Sometimes you play against um, someone who grabs like a fresh dirt worker or something. Nice game. Bonkers, powerful cards all around. Yeah, the, the card quality of the draft was pretty high. But you know what? There was also like some very low power cards that were played just because the strength of the, the strength of play was pretty high but certainly like mercator had a very very strong synergizer hand with rum distillery and sunflower farm but uh so when educator is broken when educator is broken it's broken so sometimes you play against cs jr who plows first move there you go <laughs> all right guys uh i'm calling it there thanks for hanging out everyone um i'll be back Tomorrow uh, after tomorrow in the afternoon, tomorrow around five thirty ish, Eastern. Um, yeah, 